Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Let's start another play session of Shining Force 2. Uh, I... I believe we're as ready as we're ever going to be here, so... So in we go. All right, now, uh, did I talk about this, that you can only get this treasure chest in the Japanese version because we can't open treasure chests in battle in this game? It only has, like, a, like, uh, it has a, a minor item in it. It's not. I, wait, no. I have to get reused to the controls. All right. Ugh, seriously here. Fine. All right. Poor Rick. Ooh, that's tempting. But I don't think so. I think I'm going to let him come to me. Or at least get to the point where I can move several people over there at once. Man, it's nice being able to move Chester over water. That's awesome. Here we go. Poor Rick. All right. What? Not a good way to start. Not a horrible way to start. I suppose, but... Oh, no! Well, I... Wasn't really thinking about that. Alright. What? Ah. Uh, monstrous, the... Dodging abilities of our new enemies and things. Alright, we'll take a shot at this worm, just to... Because he's going to be a pain, he's going to move in late. I expected him to move in with the other one, and I don't know why he didn't, but... Alright, maybe you can hit him. Well, that's a hit. Ooh, level up. Fantastic. So, this is the Sanctuary of Matula, by the way, in case you were not aware. And, um, of course, we are fighting for the, the, I guess, the right to enter, I suppose. Really, I mean, that's, that wouldn't be an issue if these, you know, jerks hadn't just taken it over. Oh, that hurts. All right, let's get rid of this guy so we have a little more freedom of movement. Not that, I mean, we can move over our own guys, so. All right, let's equip his stronger item. Oh, never mind. Javelin is his stronger item. Okay. Hey, I stand corrected. My experience, at least with Shining Force 1, was that they didn't do a really great job of giving you, like, awesome uh, weapon options for your knights, so. Alright, Slade will move you over here. There you go. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous he can do that. Whoa, and he got uh, Katan level 2, which, oh, fantastic. Good to see him participating. Oh, wait. He's been one of our main guys. All right, Sarah. Beat up this worm. Probably could have better used her skills as a healer, actually, but... Ah, there's my Pegasus now. Oh, just barely, too. Fantastic. He's going to be worth his weight in gold, even though... He must not weigh very much because he can fly, which means he probably has honeycomb bones, things like that, to reduce his, to reduce his weight, and to more easily overcome, you know, 
gravity. Yeah, <laughs> gravity, that little pesky force that, you know, kills us when we jump off buildings, things like that. And what else does gravity do? Gravity does other stuff. I had to explain to somebody recently, like, that the idea of weightlessness doesn't mean a lack of gravity. That was very interesting. They were like, but astronauts float in space, like, because there's no gravity. And I was like, well, it's not quite, that's not quite what's going on. I always actually found that those concepts fascinating. Not necessarily the idea of weightlessness, but the idea that, like, the idea that if you, theoretically, if you, like, if there was no air resistance on this planet, if you threw a baseball hard enough, like, it would fall, like, it was moving fast enough, it would fall at, like, you know, gr the gravitational rate, but that would mean that it falls along the curve of the planet and enters an orbit. Right. That's how that works. But again, you've got it, air friction stops you from, like, throwing a frisbee hard enough to make it orbit the planet. Although you, you could obviously throw a frisbee hard enough that it spins faster than the orbital curve of the Earth. And, or, yeah, flies farther than the orbital curve of the Earth and thereby leaves the atmosphere. Because, I mean, we do stuff like that all the time. That's what space exploration is all about, is escape velocity and things like that. But, although, obviously, well... It's not quite as simple as I'm making it sound. I know that. I'm, I'm aware that, like, it's not just as simple as, you know, but, ugh, whatever. Just keep in your mind that a Frisbee can escape the atmosphere. <laughs> like, I assume. I don't, I guess, I don't know. Well, logically, anything you could attach to a rocket could escape the atmosphere. It is at least that simple. That we could send a Frisbee to the International Space Station. Ugh, Frisbees. Ugh, gravity. Ugh, space stations. Ah, Kazan. You can't fight if you can't get close enough, man. Yeah, I, you know, we just attack from here. Nobody else can stand here. Except Peter. All right. Come on, Wolfman. We've got a wizard to beat up. I'm a little more worried about the wizard than I am the monk. Although the monk's going to be problematic too. But if we can put a dent in him, he'll at least heal himself. There we go. There, now he has to think about healing himself at least. That is the upside to kind of healers in games like this. Is that the AI will check usually to make sure they're at full life before kind of getting them to do anything else. Nice. Wow. Peter's at l promoted level 11. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, you know, I didn't think about another Master Monk. Whatever, we've got to take him out eventually anyway. Oh, there's two of them down there. and Okay, who can you heal? All good options, but... I think really, uh, Gerhalt is the guy who's closest to dying, so. Slade might still be able to take a hit. Man, she's doing really well, too, considering she, uh. Wait, what did I want to say? Oh, could, well, I don't know. 
she's doing really well. I uh, considering how we don't we don't get her into battle as much as I would like. She doesn't get to beat up stuff as often as I would like her to. Okay, there's another damaged master monk now. I don't know when those are coming in, but it's probably going to be problematic. All right. Oh, Slade to level ten. Man, he's—they're just—they're getting ridiculously overpowered here. All right. If this brings down more people, that's fine. I'm, uh, you know, that's all gonna happen eventually anyway, so. At least now we can kind of focus on the right side of the screen. These level ups are just becoming more and more common now. It's, but, uh, cause, uh, partially because we're back. Jeez, what is this? We're back to a point where we're not horribly overleveled for the creatures we're fighting. Which is good. Now this should at least stop him from moving over and trying to beat up my people. Oh, I can't believe he didn't move in. Yeah, see, completely stopped him. He'll just attack Jaha now. Alright, I think the Dark Knight is probably the boss of the level, but... Uh, or the boss of the fight, but it's hard to tell that, really. I don't know what kind of abilities he has, either, so... But we already got him down to half-life, so... Ah, uh, me. Guess she's gonna have to stay there. Alright, Dark Knight. Three. Yeah. Archers in this game, it's so rough to use them. Alright, fine, Eric. You stay there. Oh, hadn't occurred to me. Well, that is a shame. Goodbye, Gerhalt. Kind of figured that was going to be the outcome of that. Ha! Oh, man, you and your movement. You're getting our next alteration of that, by the way. Next time we get a running pimento, it's yours. Okay. Well, nobody died. Yet. Okay. Well, we're close, but... Probably not close enough. Rick would have to do a pretty amazing attack here. Yeah, I didn't think so. But Janet could take him out now. We've seen her do three before. Or Chester. Well, if he's the boss, we just won. He is! Awesome! We only lost one guy. Welcome, Grand Seal Force. What? I heard a voice from the other side of the door. Oh, I'm Zelbert, one of the greater devils. Do come in, of course, you can go back now and abandon Batula. Sir Astral, the greater devil that attacked Bajol was as strong as Vulcanon. Are you talking about Sir Ladai? Did he fight against the Vulcanon at Bajol? Yes, and he lost. I can't believe it, Ladai is the strongest devil among us. But we haven't been able to contact him lately. This is good news for me. If I get the jewel people, I can take his place. Now enter the shrine. Matula is here. What should we do? A greater devil awaits us inside. Odd eye, odd eye. Oh, odd eye. 
Monster Astral? I think I've heard that name before. Sir Astral! Um. Quit pushing Peter around, man. Sir Astral! Whoa, whoa, Peter, don't scare me! What's wrong with you? Should we go into the shrine now? I'm so sorry. No, but at least he's not as strong as aren't I. But still, he's a greater devil! We'd better complete our preparations before we go in. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, yes, we definitely better uh, complete our preparations, which I, in this case really just involve raising Gerhalt from the dead. But we will do that, because... Uh, yeah! Uh, that was a short battle. One, one video. Awesome. Uh, so, when we come back into the shrine... Bye, everybody.